Hi everyone. How are you doing? I hope you are all fine. Today my topic is cognition. What is cognition? What does it mean? Well, it's a very interesting topic. I hope you will like it. The mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought that means you are thinking experience what you have experienced through the course of life and the senses that means your five senses all this culminated together gives us a perspective on cognition so what is this cognition it is derived from a latin word which means to know to recognize or to conceptualize you are conceptualizing something it refers to the mental process an organism learns in biology the basic starting subject or the matter that they explain is human being is an organism so this organism learns remembers understands perceives and then solves the problems which come in his life and thinks about the body of information that he gets what is this information it can be information about his health it can be information about money that means biology or commerce it can be information of the law of diminishing marginal utility or the normal information of day to day life what do the experts say the experts argue that this is a stage of increasing levels of complexity and hence the phrase cognitive development the experts say these are stages a child goes through conceptualizing the world at different age levels a person at the age of 6 may have a different thinking perspective compare to a person who is at the age of 14 and then a person will be different when he is an adult or when he is mid 30s and then when he is when he is 50 years old so these are the stages of life which a person goes through in this world what is the definition of cognition in simple terms it means a process of thinking it is the identification of knowledge and understanding it and perceiving it for example you want to start learning a bicycle then you start thinking about it then you go and have the interest to know about a bicycle now you have a knowledge of that cycle which has a pedal which has a chain and it has a handle and there are two tires so you understood everything now you start learning it and you start thinking how to learn this bicycle this is perceiving it so cognitive psychology refers to the study of the mind and how we think that means the thought when you wanted to learn that cycle and then how you used your thinking to become an expert in riding a bicycle learning is an example of cognition the way your brain makes connection as we learn concepts in different ways to remember what we have learned so our brain is connecting concepts like algebra in mathematics concept like law of diminishing marginal utility in economics or the normal day to day life concepts like cooking our ability to reason through logic is a prime example of cognition for example everyone uses their logic 
and reasoning skills to survive in this world. I will say, hey, let us jump from an aeroplane. You'll say, no way, I'm not jumping. Then I'll say, hey, you have a parachute and an expert with you and he will be with you during that jump from that aeroplane. Then you will say, yes, I am for it. How did you go for that decision based on your reason and logic because you are safe with that expert next to you and the parachute that is there on the back of your shoulder. Here are a few more examples of cognitive psychology. Making judgment about something based on information you received that your brain processes. As I told you, learning is an example of cognition. In education, it is of utmost importance. Whether it's a teacher or a student, you need to be aware of the child's cognitive development at different ages. For example, a six-year-old does not quite have the ability to apply certain mathematic function to the real world yet but a nine-year-old might. So the same mathematic formula what a six-year-old learns may not apply it as the way how a nine-year-old may apply. Let us go in depth about cognitive psychology. Our ability to reason through logic is the prime example of cognition as I told you earlier. Now people have different ways of Reasoning, everyone, no individual is same. If there are one lakh people, all the one lakh people have unique reasoning skills. Everyone has their own thought process. So let us look into this example. Now a wife and a husband went to a shop to buy something for their child. So the wife is saying, hey, I want to buy this Under Armour shirt for the child because it's of superb quality. And the husband has his own reasons. He's telling, hey, in a few months he will outgrow. And it is not fine to put so much of money into this shirt because it will not make sense spending that much of money. Because he will grow in six or eight months. So this shirt of yours is of no use. So there you go. Different reasoning skills. Now, our ability to solve problems has to do with cognitive brain functions. If our car is broken, we can go through a checklist of things we are familiar and we will figure out what exactly is the problem and we'll repair that car. So, we are using our cognitive skills here. For example, earlier, People never thought of online teaching or online classes or online classes. But after this pandemic, everyone started learning how to use because there's no other alternative. So they came out with a solution to solve the problem. How? Through this cognitive thinking. Thank you so much for listening still there is there the continuation of cognition which will be told in the next session once again thank you everyone